Asclepius perennis can be one of your best friends in a butterfly garden. This little plant is found in the southeastern United States, and it loves a wetland setting. It loves boggy, wet soil, and I'm going to show you how you can add it to your garden in the setting that it will love without turning your backyard into a bog. I have some Asclepius perennis that I have put in a pot, and this pot has been set up so it holds a lot of water. And as you can see, the Asclepius perennis is quite happy growing here. So right behind, I have an empty pot. It's actually, oh, look, the whole bottom's cracked out, but that's okay. It's going to serve my purpose well. And we're going to turn this into a planter for some more aquatic milkweed. This is an empty potting soil bag. I'm stuffing it. into the bottom to block up the hole and that will make this planter have instantaneous poor drainage which is exactly the situation that Asclepius perennis loves. I have four Asclepius perennis plants here. These three are from other sections of my garden. And this one I recently bought at the Nectary because the Nectary is my local native plant nursery. I love it. I know you guys hear me talk about it a lot on my channel. And I go shopping there a lot with you guys. I bought this because look at this right here is a seed pod. And uh, when I'm done planting this planter, I will get an organza bag to cover this and protect it so that when it's ready to pop open, I will get the seeds. These two right here were in an area where they, uh, other plants around them grew over them so they weren't getting a lot of sunlight. So I'm going to use my favorite Falco pruners that have been, you know, claimed by my dog. <laughs> and uh, trim, trim these back a little. You can see this one here is putting out new growth. And you can see their root bases are very small, which is why it'll do well in a nice, deep, marshy, boggy pot. All right, we're going to get these guys in the pot and let them grow. Since this was already in a pot, I'm going to add some more soil around to get to the depth of these ones. I'll put this one in too. Notice when I pack down the soil. See how much deeper it gets? So now I'm going to go add some more soil to fill in where I pressed it down. And y'all, I planted this just in time because this is what happened in my garden yesterday. I will have some milkweed ready to go in case I get some eggs. And what I have noticed is the queens really do like laying their eggs on aquatic milkweed. And here's a little queen, and it's a female just in time. Hey, it's about two weeks, two and a half weeks after I filmed this video at the beginning where I potted it. 
and I want to come out and show you how the plant is doing and then my husband and I are going to go hiking and I'm going to upload this video for you to watch tonight. Here we are and here is the one we planted and look how well everything is doing. Let me separate these. You can see these are all in the planter we put together and I found one egg and brought it in and one baby caterpillar and brought it in since I planted this. So that's pretty fabulous. Pretty fabulous. Asclepius perennis or aquatic milkweed. Pros are that it doesn't have a period of dormancy, so it will have leaves all year round, unlike the other native Florida milkweeds. And there are no cons. So go get some. Uh, last time I was at the nectary, they had a nice little supply of the milkweed. I actually um, bought one, I think, while I was there, and I showed it to you. That's the right idea, because it's in this planter. Okay. Um, if you enjoyed this video, take a second, less than a second, a millisecond, and tap the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this and you haven't already, tap the subscribe button. And then whenever you go onto YouTube, you can tap the subscriber um, tap thing, tap thing at the bottom. And all the people you're subscribed to will come up and you can find me very easily that way. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.